addition of fractions with unlike denominators. So for example one, we want to take the fraction two-thirds and add the fraction one-fifth. So the first thing we need to ask ourselves is we need to find the lowest common denominator between three and five. Well, if you notice that three is already in prime factorization form, and so is five. So three times five is going to give us a lowest common denominator of 15. Now for step two, I'm going to rewrite the fractions, two-thirds, leave a little space, plus one-fifth. Okay, the reason why I want to leave a little space is because now what I want to do is I want to rewrite these fractions into equivalent fractions that have a common denominator of 15. So I'm going to write a fraction bar with a denominator of 15 plus a fraction bar with a denominator of 15. Okay, now we're going to ask ourselves, well, 15 divided by 3 is 5, so therefore 3 times 5 is going to give us 15. So therefore we have to do the same thing to the numerator, so 2 times 5 is now going to equal 10. Okay, next, now we need to take 15 and divide that by 5. Well, that's 3, so that tells us that 5 times 3 is going to equal 15, we're going to do the same thing to the numerator, so 1 times 3 is going to give us 3. So now we have a common denominator of 15, and then we're going to add 10 plus 3, which gives us 13. And so at this point, we need to ask ourselves, can we simplify this any further? We cannot, so therefore the answer is 13 over 15. Okay, the next example is we want to be able to add the fractions 1 6 plus 1 4th plus 1 3rd. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to find the LCD of the following numbers. We want to find the LCD between 3, 4, and 6. Well, these are not common factors of each. 3 is a factor of 6, but 4 is not a factor of 6, so we have to break it down into its prime form. Well, the prime factorization of 3 is 3, the prime factorization of 4 is 2 times 2, and the prime factorization of 6 is 2 times 3. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the following. We know that there are two 2's in common, so there's one 2 that we need to bring down. We have another 2 that we have to bring down from the 4, and we can see that there are 3's in common, so we got to bring that down as well. So therefore, we can see that the LCD is 12. So now we know that the LCD between 3, 4, and 6 is equal to 12. Step number 2. We're going to write down each fraction as it is with a little space. 1 sixth plus 1 fourth plus 1 third. And now we need to find equivalent fractions that have a common denominator of 12. So now we need to ask ourselves, well, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So that tells us that 6 times 2 is going to give us 12. So we're going to multiply this 1 by 2. Likewise, 12 divided by 4 is going to give us 3, so that 4 times 3 is going to give us 12, so we're going to multiply this 1 by 3. And then the last denominator, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so therefore 3 times 4 is going to give us 12, so 1 times 4 is going to give us 4. Now let's write those new numerators, so we have 2 over 12 plus 3 over 12 plus 4 over 12. And now we're going to add them together because now we have a common denominator of 12. So 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 4 is 9 over 12. Okay, so now we need to simplify this because 9 over 12 is not a reduced fraction. So what we can do is we can break this down into prime form. Now remember the prime factorization of 9 is 3 times 3. 
and the prime factorization of 12 as you can see over here is 2 times 2 times 3. So now let's simplify. We can see that one of these threes they have in common so we can simplify that to 1. So therefore 3 times 1 is 3 and 2 times 2 is 4. So the answer is 3 fourths.